During this year's DrupalCon North America, Dries took to the stage at his Dries note and mentioned that Drupal has never been more stable. The adoption rate for Drupal 9 is faster than any other version of Drupal ever. Modules are ready for Drupal 9 faster than ever before. And so he, of course, went straight into Drupal 10. Hi, and welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin, thanks for joining me today. And in this video, I wanna talk about the major initiatives for Drupal 10. Now, it's a ways off, it's not till 2022, but of course, it's hot news right now. And at the last DrupalCon, there were initiative tracks for each of the main initiatives, and they were terrific. I'm gonna give you a resource here in just a moment. But at the Dries note, Dries took some time to go through each of the major initiatives. Now, if you wanna watch it, it's at events.drupal.org, North America, 2021, and you can find the Dries note there right on the front page. And if you wanna watch it, you're gonna start at about 30 minutes. Honestly, there's a lot of stuff at the beginning there. Just fast forward to about 30 minutes into the video, and he'll take a look at the major initiatives for Drupal 10. Now, what are they? Well, here they are. Over here at drupal.org slash about slash core slash strategic dash initiatives, we've got the initiatives for Drupal 10. And first up is automatic updates. Ha, huh. I'm pretty excited about this. I know a lot of people aren't, but I think it's time. Now, updating Drupal core through the years has been, let's just say it's been a nightmare for beginners and site builders. Now here at OS Training, we've been working with beginner Drupalers for 10 years. And one of their constant frustrations was updating Drupal. Now with Drupal 9, it's a lot easier with Composer, but with Drupal 10, it's gonna be automatic. As long as your installation of Drupal is compliant, well then automatic updates are a no brainer. The next one is decoupled menus. This is for people who use Drupal in a decoupled way or a headless way. A lot of people are pretty excited about this one. Drupal 10 is gonna be released in 2022. Drupal 8 end of life is November, 2021. So this initiative is pretty important. Ease out of the box. This is the other one I'm pretty excited about because of course, again, we deal with a lot of beginner site builders. Now, as I dove into this one, not a happy exactly with how far it's going to go. I wish it was going to go further. There's a lot of stuff under the hood that doesn't really impact site builders that much. There's a lot of work that needs to go into layout builder to make it actually usable. Now, fortunately, there are a lot of additional contributed modules for layout builder that fill in a lot of those gaps. I would have liked to have seen this go further, but you know what? I'm not going to complain because I'm excited that Layout Builder and Media Manager specifically are going to get a lot of attention in Drupal 10. If you've seen my OS Tips video on how to make Media Manager into a digital asset management system, well, you know how much of a fan I am of Media Manager. I think it's the best of all three of the major CMSs. And so the fact that it's going to get more attention, well, I'm pretty excited about that. The last part of this initiative is a brand new administration theme that's turned on by default named Claro. Finally, new front end theme. Poor Bartik will be saying goodbye. And there's a new front end theme that's modern, beautiful. It's called Olivero. It's going to be standard in Drupal 10. And I think, again, that's a terrific update to the out of the box user experience. That's the key for this entire Drupal 10 initiative. Better out of the box experience. And I think that's gonna be really helpful for Drupal in the long run. Finally, let me give you a terrific resource. If you don't know about this, Drupal.tv has every DrupalCon video, including all of the major initiative trainings and keynotes. I uh, highly recommend you go and take a look at it. And of course, the top one there is the Dries note. Well, thanks for joining me today. My name's Rod Martin. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. As always, please take a minute to like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.